you have to work your way up. अगर आप लोग पेशेंस नहीं दिखाओगे ना, then there is no point. और अगर हाफ हार्टेडली ये कोर्स कर रहे हो, उसके बाद if you are trying to get a job, you are in it हाफ हार्टेडली, don't do it. So people all often ask me, I was asked this a few months ago in one of the parties, Gaurav, why hotel industry? You've been here 20 odd years. Why did you choose hotel industry? You know, my family has army officers and IS officers. I don't have an answer. But deep inside, I know that I don't want to do anything else. I wasn't really the most intelligent guy in my class. Engineering, I didn't know what to do. I knew I couldn't study. So the only thing came was hoteling, but I thanked myself that even if I started on a very doubtful note, karna chahiye, nahi karna chahiye, once I got into it, I gave my 100%. Agar aap logon ke andar koi doubt, you know, you guys, second years, third years, you still have time. You either clear your doubts, or you do something which you are hundred percent sure of. Because in this industry, the hard work will be so much that if you're in it only fifty percent, then you will probably lose it in two three years. Ki nahi ho frustration starts to creep into. So my only request to you guys is: hoteling is a beautiful industry. It is amazing. The amount of satisfaction that you get when you get home every night, or kisi profession mein nahi mil. I have IS officers in my family who sleep frustrated. Why? Because they want to do so much, but the government machinery, administration, maybe sometimes does not let them do what they want. In hotel industry, you do what you want, you be innovative, and you will go up. जो लोग ये सोच रहे हैं कि होटल इंडस्ट्री में जाके मैं एक साल यहां जाऊंगा यू नो अब्रॉड चले जाऊंगा दिस वर्ड अब्रॉड इट इज इट इज अ ट्रैप ओके एंड हाउ इज इट अ ट्रैप योर फ्रेंड्स हु आर आउटसाइड द कंट्री दे विल ऑलवेज टेल यू यहां आ जाओ बड़ा अच्छा है यू नो देर इज लवली एयर there is no pollution, there is whatever. But career hai ki nahi? Hotel industry mein career hai ki nahi? Nobody has an answer. All of my friends are abroad. Out of my group of 10 people who used to, who have done ITM together from the same city, I am the only one here. The rest everybody is gone. They went in 2000 only. Okay, but now today when we meet, so we usually meet every 2-3 years, we don't say it, but I can see that I am probably doing better than them. So, number one, country is not bad, as we think that our country is XYZ. Number two, hard work dedication to do there and do there too. So, it's better to work with a known devil. You know, there's a proverb called better to work with a known devil. Unknown devil ke saath bhi kaam karna hai, known devil ke saath bhi kaam karna hai. So, if any one of you feels that the country has no future, is wrong. The country has a future and the future is sitting right here. You can watch the news and start craving about India or you can see the good things and make a change. It is completely up to you. <clears throat> you know, you guys are lucky. I'll tell you why. And I was thinking of this yesterday. Hotel industry in India is still undergoing a lot of change. How many of you have traveled abroad and stayed at hotels abroad? Raise your hand. Anybody who's traveled abroad? So, I'll tell you a very interesting story, okay? I am general manager of Uruguay Hotel, right? People say it's a big thing. I don't think so, but people say it. So, three years ago, I traveled to Las Vegas. 
I said, let me book myself to the best hotel in the city. I booked myself at, there's a hotel called the Mirage. $700 a night. All right, five star hotel. You know when I went inside that hotel, you know how much time it took me to check in? Two and a half hours. Why? Because the receptionist had gone for lunch. And they asked me to wait. And finally gave me a room. For four days, there was no housekeeping in that room. Why? Because if you want housekeeping, you need to pay extra. So I said, can somebody clean my dustbin at least? It's overflowing. He says, keep it outside. And if you pay me $20, I'll take it. And this is a five-star hotel. This is not a Paku hotel. Ask for water. Can I get a bottle of water? Sure. Why don't you come down and get it? I said, can somebody bring it up? You know, over my hotels, we have to pani ki nadi bil baalati deshe na. Can somebody come up and get it and give it to me? So that will cost you five dollars extra. No problem. Niche gaye, pani leke aaye. Agle din newspaper show. Come down and get it. Does that happen in our country? Why? Because we are very hospitable. You know, we like to look after our guests. But here's the interesting thing. <coughs> guests who come and stay with us behave differently when they go abroad and stay. Here, they can be fussy, difficult. They can also misbehave. There, they won't. Because here, we will still look after them. Because that's in our culture. That's what our parents have taught us. But you guys are a part of a change that is happening in hospitality. Next five years, Indian hospitality is going to change like nobody else. How? Guests who are extremely rude and fussy, you know, sometimes there are guests who are rude. There are good guests, there are bad guests. Very soon, there is going to be an app. So if you take a Ola in Delhi, okay, and for all the, those of you who know, don't know this, if you take an Ola, you rate the driver at the end of the app. Yes, and the driver tries to push you, kya de ko chikari chalai, paans de do, paans de do, What you don't know is, the driver has an app that rates you as a passenger. So if you misbehave with the driver, if you are rude, or if you don't pay in a whatever is due or whatever, he gives you a rating. And when that rating builds up, over the next few months, there will be a time when Ola will start refusing service to people who are rude. That is the change that is coming into hotels. And you should be proud of the fact you will bring that change. I couldn't. Because we were not taught like this. Because the applications have been not made. You guys are going to bring such a huge change in hospitality that the world will remember you. So I feel jealous at times. I want to be a part of that change, but I can't because I'll be redundant, old. Next five, six years, I'll probably have to hand over to somebody and do something else. But you guys are going to bring that change. Can you imagine? So for all of you who think hoteling is not a proud profession, you're absolutely wrong. It is a proud profession, provided you take pride in yourself. When I wear this uniform, I take pride in what I do. Do I do? So do, how does like my day go? Do I have a very pleasant morning? Do I play golf for two hours? Go home at five o'clock? Never. After 23 years, I still work for 14 hours a day. Almost every off day I am at the hotel because something or the other happens. Do I have a social life? No. Do I have friends? No. Why? Because you know everybody is busy. Do I get paid enough? Absolutely not. So why do I do this? I do this for only 
inquiries. Because when I walk inside a room today, full of people from different professions, as a general manager of Oberoi Hotels and Resorts, they stop what they're doing and they stand and listen. That is the pride that I wake up every morning at 6 for. Because when I run a beautiful hotel like Wildstar Hall, I am free to experiment, make sure that the guests are happy, make sure that they have a lovely holiday and they go back home happy. That feeling an IS officer cannot get. A doctor probably cannot get. Maybe he earns more than me. He won't get that feeling. So guys, if you are in doubt, think again. Ya to aapke parents ke paas itna paisa hai ki kaam karne ki zarurat nahi. I can promise you, if that was the case, you wouldn't have been sitting here. You know, my parents didn't have the money, otherwise I wouldn't have been doing what I'm doing. So, when you've chosen this, get into it 100%. It's a beautiful, beautiful profession. So once you get into it, there will be a time when you'll be called for interviews. Okay, so please, in case you have a question in between, raise your hand. Okay, let this be a very informal chat. I don't want to talk in this group. If you have any questions, <coughs> feel free to raise your hand, okay? So there will be a time when you will be called for interviews. That was this I saw. Now, what happens when I take an interview? Has any one of you been interviewed by me? I'm, I'm sure not in your ear, but your, some of the seniors would have. The first thing I see is the hairstyle, especially for guys. Nowadays, what is happening is when I see certain hairstyles, I get confused. Is there a boy walks in or there's a murga that has walked in into my office? You know, because the hair will be really all over the place. And when I ask, ye baal aise tu kutwa hai? 100% of the boys answer, Sir, mein baal kutwa te ho, usko mana bhi kya ta ho, usko jya bada si kaat. Right? Yes. The interview is over then. The second thing I see, I never ask technical questions. I would want to know if you have general knowledge. And believe it or not, my first question is, what is the national song of our country? 50% of the people answer Jan Janma. Is it a national song? <laughs> Interview over. Correct. You see, Vajas name will answer Avi. I will ask three more questions, and that will be only pertaining to Jan Janma. Because technical school, we are supposed to teach you. I can't expect technical answers from you. So my point is, guys, this alone, this beautiful ISM alone, whatever it teaches you, it will not be enough if you don't brush up on your general knowledge and current affairs. Because when you go out and start working, you will probably find people from all over the world, right? There are foreigners traveling all the time. And when they want to start a conversation with you, they will not ask you, ki beta, meza, kitni days mein work. Wo kali puchega na? Wo puchega aapke current affairs. What do you think of your country? What do you think of the politics that is happening in your country? And if you don't know, then there's no point. So please read. And when I say read, Read something which is relevant. I have interviewed Kia Chalo, that guy was really very highly educated, he wasn't an item. So I asked him, he was for there. And he said, Kya? Siddhu goes for the market. I said, How does that affect you or me? Is that the only news? Nice, sir. So interview, over. Please read relevant news articles. 
have a conversation. Don't feel shy. आप लोग आपस में जब बात कर रहे होते हैं, don't feel shy. You have to hold each other's hand and teach each other. Otherwise, you will be struggling. International companies look for people who have confidence. I am okay to give me a wrong answer. But if you do it confidently, I like. I hire people when my employees have probably told me no, but I hire them because they were confident. So guys, I should be Parai Sirup will only take you to the doorstep of a hotel. Let me give you a very nice surprise which I got. Nobody told me in my So during my time, we were taught of service from right or left or whatever. I'm sorry, I forgot. Right? Service from right and clearance from left or is it the other way around? Who practiced the right? Punished. If you have to take it from here, you have to take it from here. Right? For my industry lady. And found out that the table is all over the place. How the hell am I going to go towards the right? So these things, I say will teach you how to do it properly. So they will get you to that interview. They will get you an admission at a five star hotel. But after that, what you do is up to you. Principal sir and your lecturers and your teachers and your lab assistants, they will not come there to help you. So please, Help yourself as well. They can only teach willing candidates. If you are not willing, nobody can teach you. And the world is changing fast. It has become so fast that if you don't use intelligent common sense, used nahi karoge, you will not last even for six months. So instead of wasting your time, and I'm not saying read all the time or something, instead of wasting your time on unnecessarily gossip that doesn't matter in our lives, this is the time for you to build your basics. First of all, they say, sir, so one of the guys he was leaving in my previous assignment, very bright guy. So I asked him, I said, why are you leaving? You've been here only for six months. So his thing was that, sir, I would like to have a lifestyle like you. You know, what you do, what you eat, what you travel in. In what, six months? How is that possible? So stop copying others. If you have a manager, teacher, or any senior who has a bigger car, a flashier mobile, or a better lifestyle than you, please understand, who can give me any other? He or she would have worked hard for it. Today, you take a big mobile to EMI, but then, what then? After that, then what? That EMI will be done, then you will have a new model, then you will have a new model. Stop imitating or copying others. You have your own personality. If you are sitting here, this time 197 of you are sitting, there are 197 personalities. Never try to be me. Because you are something else, you are different. When we copy, we lose our honesty. We lose who we are. And those copying that way, I have seen so many people just lose direction. कि वो ऐसे कर रहा है मुझे भी ऐसे करना है। So guys, build your own personality. You are special. Hoteling में there is no right or wrong. When you enter hotel operations, it doesn't matter whether you're right or wrong. You will spoil the soup every now and then. Doesn't the executive chef spoil the soup? He does. How fast you recover is what matters. लेकिन ये सब कभी पॉसिबल होगा अगर आप 100 परसेंट शोर हैं कि मुझे यही करें एंड आई कैन प्रॉमिस यू विद काइंड ऑफ न्यू जेनरेशन दैट यू गाइस आर फ्रॉम आई हैव टेकन अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू बी वेर आई एम यू विल डू इट इन हाफ द टाइम बिकॉज़ यू हैव मोर ऑपरेशन्स ठीक है तो प्लीज व्हेनेवर यू कम for an interview next, dress properly. Confidence is what matters. We don't want to know whether you stood first in your class or second. I'm sure coming first is a very
वेरी डिफिकल्ट टास्क आई एम श्योर इसलिए कह रहा हूं कि मैं तो कभी नहीं बट आई कैन ऑल्सो टेल यू एन इंटरव्यूअर लुक्स फॉर कॉन्फिडेंस ओके और एनी क्वेश्चन सो फॉर एनी बडी वॉन्ट्स टू से समथिंग वॉन्ट्स टू शेयर एक्सपीरियंस एनी बडी वॉन्ट्स टू आस्क आई विल ट्राई आंसर इट्स नॉट वेरी इजी एनी क्वेश्चन एंड प्लीज डोंट थिंक कि मैंने हाथ खड़ा किया तो सब क्या सोचेंगे आई कैन प्रॉमिस यू ट्वेंटी फाइव पीपल आर स्पीकिंग द सेम इन दिस रूम राइट
I'm just annoyed with you. I didn't know anything when I started. Come on, come on, don't think. Social must be kept with me. I'm telling you, half of you are thinking, yeah, my question was social media, it's not stupid question. No question is stupid.
who got the focus right, then it, it is more meaningful. Thank you again, sir. Thank you. Hi. I will just take two minutes of yours, okay? Very soon, as you will be clearing your second semester, okay? You will be proceeding with your industrial training, right? You all know where you're going, right? Some of you don't. You will come to know where exactly you're going for your industrial exposure, okay? So you will get to see hotels, okay? You will get to see the operations very closely, okay? Whichever area of interest you have, irrespective, okay? Please do not let your focus down, okay? You will see a lot of things, okay? Which might not seem very fancy, okay? You will see certain things which might not, you know, be very good, okay? But please understand, that is not what hotel operations are all about, okay? Those are just small, you know, I would say, you know, some very small things, okay? Certain things, okay, that you should be ignoring, okay? If you want to become hoteliers, okay? So, please do not lose your focus, okay? Complete your internship, learn to the best extent possible, whatever you can learn, okay? And come out of it with a clearer mind, okay? That you want to make your career in hotels and you want to become a successful hotel, okay? Do not get completely misguided. Do not get, you know, do not get confused, okay? So that's all, you know, uh, what I have to tell you, okay? I have just this message. And please, you know, I'm sure you are, most, most of you are on LinkedIn. How many of you are not on LinkedIn? Have you guys made your account on LinkedIn? You you have, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so LinkedIn is one of the best, very, very you know, good platform, okay, on which you can start developing connections, okay? You can follow a lot of pages, okay? You can get connected to a lot of uh, hoteliers, okay? A lot of seniors, okay? And you can be in touch, you know, and you can stay in connect, okay, with the industry. Okay, so those who already have an account on LinkedIn, okay, please enlarge your connection base, okay, and those who do not, please make an account, okay, stay in touch with the industry, stay in touch with the people who are there in the industry, okay, because it will help you, okay, read articles on, you know, LinkedIn, there are a lot of uh, materials pages available, a lot of accounts are available, follow them, okay, so that you will get, you know, educated about the industry and about the best practices that this industry has. Okay? So, thank you. Any questions? Sorry. Thank you guys. We'll see you soon. On behalf of the principal, teaching staff and the students of Ayajan Shimla, I thanks Nirvim and Gaurav for taking out time for addressing our students. All the very best to you and see you soon. Thank you so much.